How do you get off it? <laughs> oh, I want one of these. Spanning four different continents in the most remote locations, Extreme E is a brutal all-electric off-road championship that will test even the hardiest of race car competitors. Today, W Series champion and Veloce driver Jamie Chadwick is here to test her strength and agility on the Extreme Electroheads e-scooter off-road extravaganza. I mean, it looks like just some bumps, but, but we'll give it a go, it'll be fun. Jamie, you're going down. <laughs> okay. As you can see, we have created this extreme off-road course in your honor. We're gonna have a race together and uh, see how you fare. Not only are we gonna test you on speed and agility, but also we're gonna see who can do the coolest jump. Okay, race, I like the sound of that. That's a bit more up my street. We'll see about the jump. Right, should we do it? Yeah. Cool, let's go. Let's go. from Jamie and she comes up towards the first hill of the course and she really sets the ground there between herself and Ailish. Ailish really is dragging behind and uh, in fact eating <laughs> Jamie's dust. Coming in with both speed and the need to win, Jamie takes the jump hostage and flies over the track. What a phenomenal display of speed and skill. Ailish comes in, makes a slight wobble at the first hill, which sets her off track, leaving her wheels firmly on the floor. What a devastating result for her. Ailish way behind, whilst JB is fully in the lead. You would think that she was born to do this stuff. But Ailish is still behind, churns her wheels into a halt. She can't get out of it. She's stuck. She's really, really lost ground with Jamie now. I mean, I don't know how she is going to bring this one back. We already know who is going to be the winner of this one. I mean, the difference between Jamie and Ailish is just phenomenal. She crosses over and it's a win from Jamie Chadwick, of course, fastest woman of the official Extreme Electrohead e-scooter course and of many other courses, that's for sure. Good job. Oh, well done, well done. Well, that was a very tough race today. I have to say that um, I'm not quite sure who the winner is. Are you, Jamie? Not a clue. No. Well, uh, thankfully, we have an unbiased judge to, uh, to reveal the results. Jack, could you please hand me the envelope? The winner of the Extreme Electroheads Off Course Race is... It's Jamie! There you go. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just going to go skulk in the corner over here. Yeah, so I guess most people probably still won't know what Extreme is because it's the first year it's happening. It's um, yeah, an all-new electric SUV off-road racing series. So yeah, completely different concept. It's going to be awesome. We're going to some amazing locations all over the world. There's yeah, five races. Um, each team has one male driver, one female driver. So we work as a team um, and yeah, it's a one lap head to head shootout race. Yeah, to try and hopefully raise some awareness for climate change, but also yeah, have some amazing racing at the same time. How do you even prepare for these races? Yeah, honestly, even I don't know for this at the moment. I've sort of grown up racing for a long time, but this is so new even for me. Um, it's gonna take a completely different sort of type of training, um, you know, different approach, but yeah, it's something I'm really looking forward to. Obviously, it's gonna be a massive challenge. I think really expect the unexpected is sort of the approach, but yeah, I'm just looking forward to sort of putting everything I can into it and yeah, hopefully starting the new championship strong. That's one thing I really wanna know as well is it must be really different to one seat of racing. Yeah, exactly. So what I've come from in terms of my background is all sort of single seaters in the sort of hope to reach Formula One one day. It's all on a nice sort of clean tarmac. Um, everything is a little bit more predictable. Um, and yeah, that's kind of what I've always done. So this is now off-road SUV racing in these extreme locations and obviously in an electric car. So yeah, it's completely different to anything I've ever done before. But yeah, I think I kind of relishing the challenge at the moment and like everyone that's sort of going to be in the championship this year, it's going to be such an exciting opportunity to 
to be able to be a part of this sort of amazing journey. How do you find taking the jumps? Is, is, there, is there that slight fear factor that you need to get yourself over mentally? Um, yeah, I mean, I've never had to do a jump before, so this was my first experience of that. And um, I think in Extremely, I don't know if they've still got it, but there was this sort of idea around who can do the longest jump. So that just puts a bit more pressure on making sure you absolutely nail it. But yeah, I mean, it's part of it, I think. Everything um, you know is a bit daunting the first time you do it, but once you've done it once, it's um, yeah, not so bad. So that was the same with the jumps. I kind of was a bit nervous the first time, but yeah, after that, it's, it's not too bad. There's going to be one male driver and one female driver, um, and there'll be one loop. Um, so it means that one driver does one loop, and then a pit stop, driver change, and then the next driver does the next loop. But the order of which the driver goes in, um, you know, you don't have to have the female driver first or the male driver second. And I think that's where the teamwork and the team dynamics is going to be so important. How does it feel like with the hype building up to it? Like, are you able to keep your nerves? <laughs> yeah, I think that's it as well. Is in everything I've done before, you have so much preparation time. You can test the car loads. You're sort of up against your competition quite a lot in practice. So you know kind of where you're at before you even get to the first race and when you get to the first race it's just a process it's not even a big deal by the time you get there whereas here we haven't had any of that it's really throwing us in a little bit blind and a little bit in the deep end and you know it's a one lap race so it really is all or nothing in that one lap so it's going to be nerve-wracking it's not going to be easy there's a lot of pressure on all of us but I think that's where I feel like we're in a good position and from what I've raced in before the intensity and you know how tough it is um, I think that's going to put me instead hopefully uh, for extremely and like I mean that feeling of instant talk as well is just such a crazy feeling when you first experience it isn't it yeah exactly and um, that's why I've been quite lucky my team and the team have kind of been able to manage it um, to make it a little bit easier to, to deal with because even you know in these massive SUVs it's got serious amounts of brake horsepower so to be able to you know manage that kind of instant talk like you said um, is something that's quite different but yeah, a challenge I'm enjoying and it's a whole new learning process, which is exciting. Like I said, the locations we're going to are really like, you know, none other than I've ever had to go to. I've been to quite a lot of places in my racing career, but never any of the places we're going to. So if you just look at what Extreme is trying to achieve this year, um, you know, it's got such a great opportunity. And I think the spectacle and for the fans and everyone watching, it's going to be pretty enjoyable too. So yeah, really looking forward to it. Right, Jamie, just one more thing. Do you want to try one wheel? I'd love to. Right, let's do it. <laughs> Jamie's pre-season training has had her lifting weights on balance boards, so let's see how she fares on the one wheel. How do you get off it? <laughs> Two for the jump. This girl was a born racer. Oh, I want one of these. How do, how, how do you get one of these? Look at her go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll go slow. Yeah, I like four wheels. Oh, well, Jamie, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks had, for having me. I had such a good time. Loved it. It was so much fun. Thank you. Yeah, honestly, it's been, it's been such a good day. And just one thing to say, really, is everybody, thank you for watching at home. Please do like and subscribe. And if you want some exclusive content, sign up to our Patreon page. So, Jamie, do you fancy one last race? I think so. Go on, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Crying. That was so bad. That was terrible. I mean, I'm, I'm crying because of the sun, guys. <laughs>